going to worship with hymn number 574.
by loving you and our neighbor. Grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit, that we may be devoted to you with our whole heart, and united to one another with pure affection, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated for the Lord.
I never boast of anything except the cause of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. For neither circumcision nor uncircumcision is anything, but a new creation is everything. As for those who will follow this word, peace be upon them, and mercy, and upon them. sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the laborer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick who are there, and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not welcome you, go out into its streets and say, Even the dust of your town that clings to our feet we wipe off in protest against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God has come near. Whoever listens to you listens to me, and whoever rejects you rejects me, and whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. The seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, in your name even the demons submitted to us. And he said to them, I watched Satan fall from heaven like a flash of lightning. See, I have given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names 
are written in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable to you, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. 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 In our worship, we follow the three-year lectionary cycle of scripture texts. Having the sign text helps me narrow down my choices for preaching. It provides a breadth of different texts. And it gives me texts that sometimes I just wouldn't naturally choose myself. <laughs> and while the lectionary moves me out of my comfort zone, it is clear that people with their own comfort zones created it. Today's gospel is an example of text avoidance. It's, it's a major psychological malady. <laughs> Several verses are left out of the middle of the gospel text. Two-thirds of the way down, we have these words from Jesus. Yet know this, the kingdom of God has come near. And it should continue with these words. I tell you, on that day, it will be more tolerable for Sodom than for that town. Woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the deed of power done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But at the judgment, it will be more tolerable, tolerable for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted in heaven? No, you will be brought down to Hades. And then we pick up again with, whoever listens to you listens to me, and whoever rejects you rejects me, and whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. What is left out, and the very act of leaving it out, is important to the point of the passage itself. It's a, a, it is about how humans do not always welcome <coughs> what God has to say to them. The story of the judgment upon Sodom connects to what the disciples were sent to do. The Bible is nearly unanimous in identifying the sin of Sodom with a lack of extending hospitality to strangers. In Middle Eastern culture, it was a, a moral obligation for local people to provide food and shelter to strangers who came to their town. But the messengers sent by God to Sodom, instead of being received, were threatened. As Jesus sent the 70 disciples out, they were to rely upon each town's hospitality. They would be welcomed into someone's home. But if they were not welcome, if they were to shake the town's dust off their feet and leave, the village would be guilty of the same sin as the sin of Sodom. But what's important about the story of Sodom in our gospel text is that these people were not just human strangers who were due hospitality. The 70 disciples were sent as Jesus' representatives. They brought God's healing power. They spoke God's word. They proclaimed that God had come near. And like the angels sent to Sodom, so the disciples were representatives of God in Jesus. 
if the people of a town did not welcome them. They not only did not welcome strangers, they did not welcome God. As Jesus said, whoever listens to you listens to me. And whoever rejects you rejects me. And whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. Whoever rejected them rejected God. Now, not being welcome to the word, welcoming to the word of God is a consistent human problem. The designers of the lectionary did not want most of the judgment portion of our text to be heard, either because it's not what they wanted to hear, or because they figured that you didn't want to hear it. Do we welcome these words from God? Do they make us feel uncomfortable? Do we reject them? <clears throat> Do you wish that I had not read them? It's not easy to hear God's words that challenge us to deeper discipleship. It's not easy to hear words that criticize the way we have lived our lives. It's not easy to set aside old ways of living to embrace a word from God that calls us to a new way of life. We all have portions of scripture that we prefer to not hear. And we have all sorts of creative ways of avoiding them. When they are read, we cover our ears and sing, la, la, la. <laughs> We latch on to some creative interpretation of the text that makes it easier to swallow. Or we distract ourselves by focusing on the teachings of Jesus that other people ignore and judge them for their unfaithfulness. But we need to be honest with each other and ourselves. We human beings do not always welcome God and God's word into our lives. But let me conclude with how this passage concludes. Jesus sent his 70 disciples out ahead of him and they returned from their mission trip filled with joy over the power of God that was unleashed through them. There's no mention of towns not receiving them. Their ministries were a whopping success. And so apparently there would be no judgment. Yet, Jesus tells them not to rejoice in this. Instead, he says, Rejoice that your words are written in heaven. While this passage is based on the practice of being hospitable to strangers, it is really concerned about being hospitable to God in our lives. But even more, it is about knowing that God shows hospitality to us. Our greatest joy is knowing that when we come as strangers to heaven, we will find that we have been pre-registered to stay there. Our names are already written in the registry at the heavenly hotel. The light has been left on for us. Our greatest joy should be knowing that God welcomes us into God's heavenly home. And God doesn't sit in heaven and wait for us to show up. Jesus preached, and he had his disciples preach. The kingdom of God has come near. God has come to us.
and stands before us with open arms ready to take us into his arms. Are we ready to return that embrace and welcome God into our lives? Diocesan cycle of prayer in Brookings, St. Timothy, in Cave Junction, San Matthias, and in Coos Bay, Emmanuel. Lord, in your mercy, hear our Lord. prayer. Comfort and heal all those who, who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Those dealing with cancer, especially Myra, Melda. Susie, Laura, Mary S, Kathy S, Kathleen M, Sarah S, Bev, 
Big B, Jack, Donna D, Roland S, and Dawn B. For those suffering from various diseases and physical limitations, especially John and Allison M, Eileen, Tom L, Pat G, Joan M, Reverend Robin, Marty B, Steve H, Olita, Curtis, Aprea, Colleen, Tom, Roy, and Bill. For those recovering from surgery, especially Gail and Dan. For those who support and care for them, especially Jenny, Kay, Jim, Gloria, Sally, Dr. Van Dillinger, and the City of Hope. Give them courage and hope in their uh, troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend to your mercy all who have died, that your will for them may be fulfilled. And we pray that we may share with all your saints in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God Almighty, in whose name the founders of this country won liberty for themselves and for us, and lit the torch of freedom for nations then unborn, grant that we and all the people of this land may have grace to maintain our liberties in righteousness and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Now let us confess our sins against God and our need. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you and forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, and also with you. Let us greet one another with some praise. Peace. 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 <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you all here this morning. Even if it is a little warm. <laughs> We've kept it so cold for the last year or something. We're not used to this warmth. No. So, uh, yes, ma'am, you have an announcement? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't go ahead. 
Actually, I have two. The first is that um, on the first table as you go into Teresa Hall, you will find envelopes, hopefully with all of your names on them, um, that are financial statements, mid-year financial statements. Please pick them up so I don't have to mail them to you. Postage is getting high. The second <laughs> announcement uh, is that also on that table there is a greeting card um, for anyone who would like to sign. Um, this is for Joan Markey, who has been in the hospital for some time and looks like she's going to be remaining for some time. So I thought I would drop that off this afternoon. Nice. Thank you. We have a birthday. We do. We yes. do. And the anniversary. It's um, kind of a tall guy. I don't know. I, you know, I'll take some people <laughs> need to come up here. <laughs> I'm not tall. Yeah, I'm not shrinking. Come on down. Shrinking. <laughs> hey, Tom. Uh, I'm going to be Tom. Tom. Huh? Well, Lori and Roy have skipped out. Apparently, they're partying or something <laughs> <laughs> for their anniversary. Do you want to do Yeah, you skipped out. Can we do retroactive? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> well, I mean, whenever sure. you want to do it, but I want to. No, you come on down. We need come on up. Or something we need to do this. I mean, you know, sorry. Sorry. Um, well, we'll do it one at a time. So, you know, oh, okay. Just all we'll do it. Wow. 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 Yeah. It's just, that's what you confess to, is mentally or physically. You can confess it. Okay, well, on that note, <laughs> you definitely need the blessing. Then, right? Okay. Uh, Watch over Tom, O Lord, as his days increase. Bless and guide him wherever he may be. Strengthen him when he stands. Comfort him when discouraged or sorrowful. Raise him up if he falls. And in his heart, may your peace, which passes understanding, abide all the days of his life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. There, there's a good guy. There he is, back there. <laughs> This year, Tom, four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what was this something? Did I hear something about 45 years? Yep. Yeah. 45, on the 26th of June. Wow. Do you still like each other? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's good to be yeah. out. It, it, it's good to be honest about these things. <laughs> Let us pray. Oh God, you have so consecrated the covenant of marriage that in it is represented the spiritual unity between Christ and his church. Send therefore your blessing upon Bill and Kay, your servants, that they may so love, honor, and cherish each other in faithfulness and patience, in wisdom and true godliness, that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 Thank you. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Are there any other announcements? Oh, Juanita? This is a public service announcement. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, I do the Crab Derby for Tony's Crab Shack, and I work closely with Andrea from the Chamber. And the Chamber, for the month of June, have been putting messages in a bottle on the beach here in Banff. So they just this past weekend, they put a whole bunch out. So if you find a message in a bottle, you can redeem it either at the chamber or a local merchant has given a prize. So I just want you to know that for those of you who walk your dogs on the beach, look for those messages in the bottom. Nice. So 
tell your dogs to be on the alert. Yeah. <laughs> but, if they never get okay, I just <laughs> saw a video like last night of of a dog at the beach with a, a little I think it was a golf ball had rolled out in out into the water at the surf and the poor dog was scared of the waves <laughs> and trying to get it, but it finally got it. So wow. so tell your dogs to be on the alert. <laughs> I don't know what the bottles look like. Maybe you could I think like a little, just a little small bottle. And it's not, I don't know. It's made of glass. <laughs> <laughs> Pick it up like it's litter. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. No plastic. No plastic. It better not be plastic. I don't know. Well, I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present yourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship.
fall into sin and become subject to evil and death. You and your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he gave them thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Therefore we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension. We offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit, to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. And sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrifice for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. The gifts of God for the people of God, take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in their hearts by faith. With thanksgiving. Amen. Amen.
graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have given us spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and to serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Grant us next our Lord. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Continue with hymn number four. <clears throat> <laughs>